Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple stream. So, the Ravens start the year off with an L. Hogs looked like he was about to cry. Run game was working, but then they slowed it down a little bit. Man, Drews did his thing. He did. He did pretty good. He almost dropped that one pass though. Okay, he was bobbling. But um, he did good. You know, offensive line. He did all right. He did all right. He did all right. Um, Tyler Huntley. He was doing good actually. He was doing good until until the end part. Until that, that fourth quarter, when about five minutes, something like that, that, that was shut down. I don't want to know what happened. I don't know. It's like, I don't know what happened. Because we literally didn't do anything in the fourth, the entire fourth quarter, matter of fact. We did not do anything in the entire fourth, not even a field goal in the fourth quarter. Justin Tucker chills on the bench the entire fourth quarter. But hey, some of us seen it coming. I had to, in fact, I thought I had the Ravens winning, but if you was there on my live, my live, I started having that feeling. I said, hey, something ain't right. I think we finna catch this hot, fresh L. And that's what we did. Ravens start the new year, January 1st, 2023, with the L. Then we play the Bengals next game. That is going to be interesting. Are oh, we going to start the year off with two hot, fresh ales? I don't know. But overall, I think uh, defense, defensive line. What defensive line? To be real, the most pressure I saw on the quarterback was from Kyle Hamilton. But then he ended up getting caught on, on on the play. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, it happens. But that dude had so much time. Like, Pickett had so much time to throw. It literally, he said, hood, and he just, no, you're not open. No, you're not. No, no. Let me start back at one again. No, no. Oh, there you are. And then he throws it. And I'm like, God, that, where is the rush? Like, he literally got pressured very few times that I can remember. Like, it was ridiculous. But, man, that, therefore, as our defensive backs, I didn't see Marlon nowhere. I didn't see Marlon nowhere. That's a good thing. I don't even think they even tested Marlon that I can remember. Um, Brandon Stevens, he played. He played good. He played good. He played good. Not great, but he played good. Um, yeah, like Pickens. He just, oh god, that catch by Pickens. We're going to see that for so long, y'all. That's the, Oh, man, don't get me started. Oh, Lord, that's going to... Oh. Okay, let me just get this out of the way real quick because it's going to bother me. We picked Ojabo, a guy that played one game for us last year. And missed out on Pickens. Pickens and Lamar would have been beautiful. But not that's not the Ravens' way. You're going to go defense, offensive lineman, which is not bad, center, not bad. Then you're going to go defense again. I would have went, heck, I don't even think I would have got Cal really, though. I don't know. I was thinking wide receiver the whole time. But anyway, that's, that's another video. Just had to get that off my chest. This game was depressing. It was depressing. But let's get to the stats. Tyler Huntley, 21 attempt. Hey, I thought I, I, I said he might get 17 and 20 attempts, so I was close. 
But 14 complete, 130 yards, one TD. That was to Likely, thanks to Hayward on that play. One interception. He got sacked by no other than T.J. Watt. J.K. Dobbins, 17 carries, 93 yards. Killed it. He was killing it. Then they just, I don't know. They just kept trying to have him go up the middle for some reason. He was killing them on going left and right. But I don't know. Tyler, Tyler Huntley, seven carries. Why those seven carries can't be given to Gus? 24 yards. Those carries could have been given to Gus. Stupid. Andy Isabella, he just did that one play. That was it. Gus, three, three carry, two yards. Like, stu- stupid. Mark Andrews, nine receptions, nine targets. He caught everything. 100 yards. Completely, just 100 yards. That's surprising. That literally just 100 yards. Isaiah Likely, three receptions, 12 yards. And then there's nothing else. Yeah, this right here. Make sure you can see my mouse. This right here is depressing. This is why you should be drafting and picking up young in their prime wide receivers that has a name. This is why. We literally on this chart. Hold on, let me make the screen big. Let me make the screen big before I go back. We literally have two wide receivers throughout that whole game. Only two wide receivers caught a pass. And not one of them is over 10 yards. Deshaun Jackson, one reception, nine yards. Demarcus Robinson, one reception, nine yards. Just let that sink in for a second. That right there is depressing. That is depressing. Our defense, Chuck Clark, 10 tackles, Marcus Williams, 10 tackles, Raquan Smith. I feel Raquan Smith was the only one that was hunting for the ball. He got caught on in that last play. Okay, he got caught peeking at the quarterback instead of look, keeping his eyes on Harris. But other than that, to me, he played better than a lot because it was a lot of plays and the commentator was even saying that he was on the opposite side of where the run was happening. And he went all the way across the field, sideline to sideline, as they say, to make the tackle because everybody else wasn't doing the tackling. They literally was like looking like they was afraid to tackle. They wasn't being physical. I feel like, the entire offense for the Pittsburgh Steelers was being physical. Like, look at look look at their run. Najee Harris, twenty two carries, one hundred and eleven yards. Jalen Warren, twelve carries, seventy six yards. That right there is ridiculous. That shows you how physical they were. And we wasn't being we wasn't a physical team. That's right there is why I believe they caught the L. Wasn't physical, the offensive play, calling was terrible. The entire fourth quarter, they were playing concert. They they was literally playing like when we could have even. Um, it was like third and I think seventeen or something like that. They literally was playing for a field goal, and then threw it to Isaiah like that. Fourth quarter, you're calling plays with, what, 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter, no timeouts. You're calling a screen pass play to Isaiah Likely. Like, you're not trying to throw it down the field. You're literally looking at Isaiah Likely and finna throw him the ball. The commentary even said, not that this Huntley now, but he said Huntley only reads one. If that one is not open, he throw he runs. And then we play the Bengals next week. You know everybody was watching this. That's why I know some people blame you be hating. That's why I say we're gonna walk in the playoffs and we're gonna walk out an hour later. Well, three hours later, we're gonna walk out. 
but overall, Harley did decent. Until, like I said, until that that fourth quarter. But it's just the offensive calling. They they. It's just sad, man. It's really just sad. Like you look at this team, and you 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 don't sit there and think. Man, they're going to do some damage in the playoffs. It's like they made the playoffs, and Lord knows. Miracles can happen. I'll be hyped if a miracle can happen, but we'll see. Kansas City, Buffalo, the Bengals, we will see. But, man. Preston. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, on to the Bengals. We, let's just see what happens, man. Let's just see what happens. I know a lot of people going to want Lamar back. Lamar, don't come back. Don't come back for this game. I wouldn't even come back freely for the whole season. I would show them, hey, this is what y'all pay me. They even pull up a chart. Talking before I end this video, they end up put up a chart saying the average points the Ravens get with Lamar since he been at the Ravens and without Lamar. Average is twenty eight. Without Lamar was eighteen. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Just wanted to leave y'all with that. Something to think about. Hit the like. Hit subscribe. Hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.